Hi there everybody, it's Mark Lawrenson here from Sydney Astrology School and thank you for joining me as we look towards the sky for the month of December of 2021. Now what I want to do this month is I want to focus on the eclipse. We're having a total solar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius at 12 degrees and this is going to be happening on the 4th of December. Now a lot of people talk about eclipses like they're really rare but they're not. We get four a year, occasionally we'll get five. Uh, we're going to get two solars and two lunars every year. And as I said on the odd occasion, we're going to get an extra one tagged on. But what makes eclipses uh, particular is the degree that they're in um, and where that degree is in your birth chart. So if you've got planets uh, near 12 degrees of Sagittarius, that particular planet is going to be affected uh, big time by this particular uh, eclipse. Now, if you have planets in aspect, if you have them um, in opposition to 12 degrees square or even trine or sextile, they're going to feel the effect of this eclipse as well. Also, uh, take a look at where Jupiter is in your chart. Uh, because the house that Jupiter is in and the sign that Jupiter is in is going to feel the effect of the eclipse too because this particular eclipse is in Sagittarius and Jupiter, of course, is the ruler of Sagittarius. Now, if you don't have a planet in aspect to 12 degrees of Sagittarius in your chart, then just have a look at the house that 12 degrees Sagittarius is um, and it'll be the Sagittarius area of your chart, of course. So just be conscious of that particular house and what that area is all about for you, uh, because it will be uh, the, the terrain of life that will feel the effect. OK, so when we're looking at, a, at a, an eclipse, um, they're going to be conjunct a node, either the north or the south. And so this is a south node uh, solar eclipse. And so a south node solar eclipse is going to bring up stuff for you. It could bring up stuff from the past. It could bring up stuff um, of old patterning or old behavior. And often it's about uh, uh, letting it go or resolving it or trying to heal it in some kind of way. So um, that needs to be taken into account as well. So when you're thinking about an eclipse, especially a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse, there's some strength in the fact that there's going to be uh, there's going to be something on uh, a feeling of uh, beginnings or endings involved. It's an awakening process. Uh, eclipses always kind of have that feeling about them. Uh, something coming to the fore or something being exposed. Um, but I always feel that starts, um, and new, uh, you know, new starts and the ending of things is often a part of an eclipse, and particularly, as I said, if you have, uh, planets that are in aspect to the eclipse degree, particularly a conjunction. Okay. And so, this could be really eventful in a Sagittarian kind of way. So what does that mean when you think of it in a Sagittarian kind of way? There's something about a, a sense of hope or there's something about a sense of possibilities involved in this. So I always think that, you know, there's a feeling of being able to to reach for something or quest for something. You know, that feeling of opening up, a feeling of expanding, that feeling of adventure, that feeling of uh, exploration uh, needs to come into this. Now, the eclipse can last quite a long time. A lot of people talk about eclipses uh, lasting from one eclipse to the next. But I think uh, an eclipse, particularly if it's making a strong aspect in your natal chart, could actually last the whole year. And so uh, it will bring up an event of sorts on that level. So there could be something about uh, uh, something new to study. There could be uh, an area of you expanding your knowledge in a particular area um, that you have never that you've never ventured into before. 
uh, as I said, there's an adventurousness about this. Um, I would even talk about travel, but at the moment, you know, with what we're going through at the moment, uh, that's going to be challenging for some people. But uh, even travel doesn't necessarily have to be uh, to other lands. I mean, uh, becoming interested in what's going on in different countries, um, opening your mind, opening your understanding, uh, becoming more philosophical, all that kind of stuff to what's happening outside um, of your home, outside of your country, could also be a big part of this. So, as I said earlier on, the whole idea of uh, upping your game, you know, on the level of your confidence comes into this as well, to be able to go for things probably that you wouldn't have normally gone for, um, that feeling of having to learn, but it's when I say learn, it's not so much in the Mercury kind of way, where it's about the facts and the figures, Sagittarius loves, loves to learn through experience. And so there's that feeling now of you being able to, to put yourself in situations or put yourself into positions where you are going to uh, have to go through um, a particular way of becoming more, uh, more knowledgeable or uh, understanding life, you know, on a bigger picture level through a particular experience. Um, that will present itself to you. And the experience will have something to do, uh, as I said, with the house that this, uh, that this eclipse is, is happening in. And also with something to do with what your Jupiter is about in your natal chart. Now, one of the major things I really want to talk about with this eclipse is um, meaning. Sagittarius is always looking for meaning in life. It's always looking for something it can point at and have faith in or feel in a way that uh, uh, their principles or their ethics um, or their belief system is intact um, with uh, a way of life. And so for us, it's so, so, so important that we have something to stand for. Uh, so many people, I feel, are actually just getting up every morning and going through the motions, going to jobs that they don't particularly like, uh, just trying to survive. And if you ask them, um, what's the meaning of life or why are you doing this or do you, re do you, uh, uh, do you ever think about uh, why you have come onto the planet? that I'll be looking at you like you're speaking Greek or something because it's kind of like I'm just trying I'm just trying to survive I'm just trying to pay a mortgage I've got three kids to bring up you know that kind of thing nothing wrong with that because we are living on the earth plane and we have to do that kind of stuff but there's something about this particular eclipse that is trying to in its own way get us to get us to understand that there's more to life than just that and so I want to say with this particular eclipse, be very, very conscious of why you are, why you, why you are who you are. You know, it's that kind of feeling of what am I doing here? Who am I? You know, what, what's, what's the, what's the reason for my existence? And there's something about us needing to come into a place almost like having our own private mantra or our own private affirmation based on how we want to live our lives. Now, this isn't about uh, getting all caught up in uh, rights and wrongs or judgments or religion or anything like that. This is, is, this is just a, a feeling of I'm here for a purpose. I, I've come here. I have a particular mission or I have a uh, something to achieve and not necessarily always outwardly. It just feels that I have to live my life in accordance uh, to my philosophical framework. And so therefore, there's something about what we need to believe in for ourselves. It might not be right for anybody else, but it does mean something to us. It feels right for us. And to be able to in uh, in an everyday kind of way to be able to live in alignment with what we believe is true and right for us. 
and it feels it feels good you know what i mean it feels good from the inside out and i feel that this particular uh this particular eclipse is trying to uh, change something in that area it's trying to to open us up to a new understanding in some kind of way um, maybe there's an old way of thinking or an old way of believing that hasn't been working for us and it's about really coming into a brand new way of being able to approach life or being able to understand things or be able to to take the information in in a brand new way Sagittarius is always questing it's the it's questing for truth it's questing for an understanding of life you know on the on a universal kind of level how how the universe works basically the laws of the universe and for us we need to actually have our own laws as i said not necessarily in that kind of uh, strong kind of uh, overly self-righteous or principle you know darkly dark principled kind of way but a feeling of us having something as i said earlier on having something that's important to us and that we stand for and that our life comes into some kind of alignment or accordance with and so for us to feel hopeful is as i said is a really really important thing for us to feel confident uh i also think uh open yourself to possibilities open yourself to the fact that things can happen anything can happen see the glass half full you know that kind of feeling it's the opposite to being pessimistic it's the opposite to uh being uh doubtful uh so i want to say with this particular eclipse particularly if it makes a strong aspect in your chart then um then really up your game on that level uh because i always think the sagittarius jupiter energy um really does attract uh positive the positive things in life if you can align uh with a sense of your own positivity you know the energy of uh you know the en energy of of things happening the energy of of you know that feeling of anything anything can fall into place as long as i believe it's so so i want to come into that i want you or everybody uh to come into a place of starting to see their lives working um and also also coming into a place of realizing that life is not just about making ends meet that life is a wondrous experience you know that feeling of adventuring and exploring um and enjoying enjoying the the experience of life and everything we have to learn so with this particular uh solar eclipse just be very very conscious of i want to say of what you believe at the moment what you believe about yourself and what you believe about life and if there's anything that needs to be let go of or needs to be released in some kind of way and uh, just maybe a new philosophical outlook that needs to be adopted um that could pick your life up you know that could make your life feel more inspired that could make your life feel a little more joyful and i think if we could do that i feel that this eclipse has done its job